And I guess the thing to find out is, is it really like Little England? And to be fair, it is pretty English. You, you like the bagu or? Yeah. What, what is these here? Rodal. Dal? Yeah. Hey, I'm Kieran, and this is my better half, Maddie. We both decided to leave the UK at the start of 2023 to follow our dreams and go travelling full time. This is our Sri Lanka series. Right guys, so a bit of a last minute decision, but I think we're going to head off to Nuwara Ilia today. We've been in Ella now for nearly three weeks and we've not seen it, so we don't want to miss out on it, so we're going to head there today. So we have made it to Nuara Elia. It took us about an hour and a half to get here, so it wasn't too bad. And I guess the thing to find out is, is it really like Little England? So we've started with some food. I've gone for the lump rice. I've had it once before in candy, but I thought I'd try it again. And you have gone for... I've got the vegetarian curry, so I think there's like four, four different curries, or yeah. three. So first thing to note is the prices aren't like England. It cost us 800 rupees for this and I think 400 for yours, yeah. which is pretty cheap. So yeah, good start. So they're not quite walkers, but Maddie's just got some chips from one of the street food stands. They're just like walkers, look, delicious. Are they good? Mm. Cool, oh, yeah, I'll try one. Mm. They're very good. They are like ready salted. So this is the buildings you often see in all the photos and it's captioned Little England and to be fair it is pretty English. It's got like the traditional red brick and yeah what do you think Maddie? Nice. I don't it up. You think it's English? Yeah definitely yeah. like Cotswolds maybe? Yeah 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 pretty nice. So it's actually a post office inside and there was just an English family posting back to the UK and it seemed like a few people were writing postcards. So, so I just sent a photo back to my family with a picture in front of that building and I told them I've just landed in the UK. So I wonder if they'll fall for it. I doubt it, what you're wearing. Yeah, true. Like Maddie just said, I am in a vest and short, so I can't imagine it'd be that hot in England, but yeah, we'll see. So if you're wondering why do some of the buildings look like England, well the British did actually rule Sri Lanka for 150 years, up to around about the 1940s. And there was a period of time where they actually built Nuara Elia. They made it to be sort of a resort town uh, because the climate was pretty similar. I don't know why they thought that. I know it's a bit cooler for Sri Lanka, but I mean, look at me, I'm in a vest, so. No, I agree, like it's the coldest part of Sri Lanka. Like all of the Sri Lankan people that come here, they think it's very, very cold. And I've got my coat on, and if I had my fleece, I would wear it because it's quite chilly. Well, as someone from the UK, if we could have loads of like 15, 18 degrees, I'd be pretty happy with that. We have made it to the Grand Palace hotel now this to be fair is pretty british it's got like the medieval um georgian sort of timber bars uh, and also the grass area i mean yeah i'll give uh nuara elia this one it does look kind of british also just a bit kind of off topic off, uh, off topic but Nuara Elia has to be like one of the hardest things for me to pronounce. I don't know why, but it's almost like a tongue twister. I seem to always be stumbling on the words when I try and say it, but Nuara Elia. What do you think, Maddie? Looks British. Yeah, good. I'm just wondering, I'm trying to find out if the Queen Elizabeth owned this place, and I think there is a Queen Elizabeth cottage just somewhere there. Yeah. So, Maddie, aka Wikipedia, has just told me that to stay at the Grand Palace, uh, the basic deluxe room is 204 US dollars and the senior suite or something was it? Junior suite, Junior suite is 320 odd dollars a night so Shall yeah. we do it? Well I think it a bit passes our budget but But yeah. that's super cheap though for a five star hotel uh, It's beautiful, I wouldn't stay there 
Yeah, it would be nice to live it up for one night. And yeah, it's reasonable, I guess, for, Super cheap. for a five like... star. So there was only one more thing to deem this like England, the weather, and it's just started raining. Which one you reckon? Is this one good? You you like the lagu or? Yeah, like this one. Okay, is this one better than this one? Okay, very sweet or not? Yeah, no, very sweet. Not sweet. Okay. Um, this one very sweet lagu. Okay, I try your recommendation. Yeah, the bomb the Bombay sweet, please. Yeah, so we walked past this place a few times and I've not really had too many sweets here and I wanted to try it, so uh, I'll give it a go. It? But he said it's super sweet um, and I'm not a huge fan of sweet, so let's have a look. Mm, not bad, not too sweet. Coconut tea. Let me try it. Like a soap texture. Not too bad. It's like a, a no. bit white chocolate taste as well. Not bad at all, yeah. I'd have it again. She liked your she liked the crisp. Very nice. Good samosa, but I'm full. I eat too much today. I put on the weight. Tomorrow. <laughs> Sorry? Tomorrow coming. No, no, back to Ella. We just came for the day. Yeah, yeah. Scooter back now. Yeah. What what is these here? Rodal. Dal? Yeah. Ah, oh, but like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. Ah, oh, yeah, I've seen these. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, oh, nice, yeah. Cool. Well, thank you very much. Have a good day. Cheers. Right, more crisps for the journey. You know, it's hard work being on the back of the bike, admiring all of the views, and thinking what well, I'm going to eat for my next meal. So that is it for Nuara Elia. I'm really glad we came for the day, actually, because, uh, you know, we've been in Ella for such a long time now. We didn't see it on the way and we probably weren't going to have the opportunity over there, Maddie. We probably weren't going to have the opportunity to see it again. So although it was only a few hours in the day, uh, I felt like we'd seen a fair bit of it. And yeah, I'm, I'm really glad we came. We ate some nice food. I, 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 I would stay here longer, actually, because the atmosphere around, like the bazaar, I, I really like it. It's quite a cool place and, and it's nice having that sort of like English feel with the buildings around. Did you enjoy it? especially these findings the yeah crisps. I love crisps. yeah it's a good job they don't have them everywhere because she literally would be eating all the eating them all the time but yeah time to jump back on the scooter and head back to Ella let's go home we made it we made it to a petrol station thank God Hi. Right guys, that is it for today's video. If you do get the opportunity to visit Nuwara Elia, make sure you do. It's a really unique place in Sri Lanka. We're going to head out for dinner now. It's our last evening in Ella. But in the next video, you will see us in a new location in Sri Lanka. So don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you in the next one. Samul Ganava for now.